Alright guys, I'm going to show you a bird's eye view of what it actually looks like, not just some kind of mirroring or screen recording, because some of you guys don't get it with the Gear VR, it's actually, uh, there's actually no lag whatsoever, um, you get this bird's eye view. So I've got my Kodak 360, and my GoPro here, and we're going to go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to put the GoPro Hero on the left as best as I can, and also the Kodak SB360 Pro on the right and I'm gonna see if I can there we go and I'm gonna to try to play put it in best as I can and if you're looking actually into it you can move around the whole theater and you actually don't see those black things it's just because the cameras are kind of placed right there but you, you get a nice theater size uh, movie theater uh, in the tip of your nose so that's pretty cool right hi folks I'm Sahan on Android.com where we get <laughs> on Android every day Anyway, today I wanted to do a quick update on my Samsung Gear VR review for the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. Uh, over my vacation, I was able to use it on the airplane. Um, sort of made me realize some more things. Um, so let's go ahead and do this, baby. All right, guys, so Samsung has updated the Gear VR. Now it works with the Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge. Before, the Gear VR only worked for the Galaxy Note 4 and not for the Note Edge. I was sort of annoying. Uh, that you have to make a choice between a curved screen versus virtual reality. If you own a Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge, this year you're able to take full advantage of the Gear VR for the Galaxy S6 as it is fully compatible with the S6 and the S6 Edge. Okay, so what's changed with the Gear VR for the Galaxy S6 versus the Note 4 version? Uh, Gear VR for S6 is 10% clearer uh, due to higher pixel density of the Galaxy S6 screen. When I tried it out, it definitely improved by 10%. Uh, although it sounds small, everything looks crisp and clear. It's a huge improvement to your naked eye. I just feel like it's more complete now. Samsung has really improved it to the level of excelente. And yes, there's also now a dedicated micro USB port on the new Gear VR, so you can charge the device while using the Gear VR. I actually got to try this out during my 20 hour flight to Thailand on my vacation. And yes, I watched six hours of movie straight with no problems. I did carry my Aki USB power bank, which supports fast charging and kept my Galaxy S6 near 100% of battery life the whole time. Okay, after using it in real life situations, like on an airplane, I have really gotten to appreciate what the Gear VR can really do. It's not all of the virtual reality games you can play in full 3D and be fully immersed into it. I really like that, but I also realize simple things like watching a movie is definitely the coolest feature. On the airplane right through South Korea to Thailand, I was watching my favorite movies on my Gear VR, and I also did watch 3D movies, which was awesome. Instead of having to watch movies on a small 7 to 10 inch airplane screen uh, with horrible resolution and economy class, I was able to watch all my movies in theater size screens through my Gear VR. After doing that for a couple hours, I tried to watch a movie on the airplane screen, and I simply couldn't. That's when I realized the coolest feature on the Gear VR is being able to have your own theater size screen anywhere where you're at. Whether you're sitting in front of your computer or laying down on the bed, the Gear VR allows you to enjoy theater size screen at the tip of your nose. Word about orientation, no problems. The Gear VR allows you to easily reorient the screen by holding down the back button if you're laying down on your bed. Want to watch a 3D movie? No problem. Just copy and paste your 3D movie into the 3D folder and you can enjoy theater size 3D movies right there wherever you like. Games are also a ton of fun. With a Bluetooth game controller, you can be fully immersed into the 3D world. Imagine being able to walk around in a 3D environment without leaving your couch. Overall, if you are a globetrotter who travels the world often on an airplane, this is definitely the gadget you should have with you at all times. Or maybe you don't have a TV in your bedroom, then this could end up as an ultimate movie watching device before going to bed. And yeah, there are lots of VR devices being worked at the moment, I like the HTC Vive, um, but this 
is the only device right now that's portable, fits in your backpack easily, and works simply by plugging your phone into the device. And that's my updated review of the Gear VR for the Galaxy S6. If you want to see some other features that I've covered with the Note 4, um, definitely check out my original video of the Gear VR review uh, for the Note 4, uh, which covers many of the apps that I didn't cover in this review. And thanks guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up for me. And also, if you do have a Gear VR and you don't know how to watch movies or 3D movies, it's really simple. You just have to make some directories and copy and paste all of your movies, your 3D movies. Um, you should be able to enjoy theater sized movies uh, right there on your Gear VR. I'll post my instructions, so definitely check out the link in the description. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus, Instagram, and I will see you guys soon. As always, a stay fun and dry.